Hi everybody, it is Justin. It is Tuesday the 24th and I thought I would share with you a little hack that I've been doing for not having to touch the doorknobs in my apartment complex because there's about uh, 40 units here and uh, we're worried about getting uh, coronavirus through contact with public spaces like the doorknobs, elevator buttons, that kind of thing. Um, you know, like I am, I wanted to come up with a solution that's kind of sustainable. Um, I do have gloves, but I found that when I was wearing gloves, uh, you, know, you have the glove on and then it's good you touch something that's dirty, but then anything else you touch after that is potentially cross-contaminated. You touch your cell phone, whatever. And a lot of the things that I was worried about, like the doorknobs and uh, the elevator buttons, I'm only touching once. So what I have switched to is using uh, a Ziploc bag. Specifically, I'm using the hefty freezer bags with the little doodad on top that closes it and opens it. And so what I'm doing is, is I'm just opening up the bag and I'm turning it inside out and then using my hand to push the elevator button or turn the doorknob and then closing it carefully. You can kind of squish it back in so you're keeping the dirty part back inside the bag and you can just flatten it out, roll it up, keep it in your pocket, and then you've got basically a dirty bag on the inside that you can use for anything else that you need to, to touch. And I'm using one of these all day long and then at the end of the day, uh, I'm just opening it up and putting some soap inside and some water and you know you can leave it in your sink. Th these are pretty waterproof. I use these and freeze wheatgrass in them. Um, the seal works pretty well for keeping the water in, but sometimes a little bit leaky. So you can uh, go ahead and just keep that in the sink overnight. And then in the morning, uh, empty out the water, you know, put it in the sunshine, let the sunshine dry it out. So you really only need two bags that you can continually reuse. And I think that that might help out in the long run. Um, you can save your gloves for when you're really going to be touching a lot of things over and over again, like at the supermarket. Um, and I'll probably make a separate video on some tactics for that. Um, best practices for minimizing touching, having yourself, uh, you know, protected. So anyways, hope you guys are doing good. Um, if you want to go to my main website, it's justinspov.com. Now that I'm off work, uh, I can go back on it and start updating some stuff. But I hope you guys are good. Leave a comment if you have any ideas about how this might have a flaw in it or whatnot. Or otherwise, like and share it. And... Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.